Hey YouTube. Um, I've been thinking about something. It's the double standard. Um, now, if I told you that there's a female on this site who likes to be nice and sweet and likable in her videos, and then likes to be nasty in private or in comments. If I told you that anyone who spoke against this female gets personal information, private information released onto YouTube, if I told you that this female uses any sort of private information that you give her against you if you speak against her. What would it take for you to actually examine that? Would it take this female being Diana Boston or Nuclear Knight or Dawsnatch? You know, um, last year I met Diana, and she was a likable person. She was nice in her videos when I watched them. She was um, likable in person when I talked to her. Like, I, I kind of liked her. Yeah, I did. Um, but then I'd seen other things that she'd said, other places and things like that, and, um, it just seemed like unnecessary nastiness. Um, now, if Diana Boston had released my first name on YouTube, which she knew it, and she knew my son's name because I slipped and told her, and it was pretty clear by the fact that I don't start my videos with hi my name is and my son's name is that I don't want that information on YouTube. Everyone would be supportive. Everyone would be fucking outraged because it's cool to dislike Diana. And um, while I was talking to Diana she said um, that all you needed to do to get, get subscribers was to make a video bashing her and everyone would love you. And most of the people who would subscribe just because you're bashing her were already subscribed to me at the time. But um, she wasn't wrong. Um, because it's it's cool to hate Diana. It's cool to hate Nuke. It's cool to hate Doll Snatch. But now when Diana did her video showing proof that that Divinity was the Temple Dancer account, everyone laughed at it because it was ridiculous. Um but if that sort of proof, proof, had come from a particular other user about myself or about Tamoa's girl, Eli, it wouldn't have been laughed at. Now, if Diana had taken, you know, a little piece of a Skype conversation and another little piece of a Skype conversation and stuck them all together and made something that Divinity or myself or anyone just look horrible, everyone would have been like, those are just little pieces of conversation. That's not proof. I find that interesting. I do. And, um, if Diana hit, oh, I don't know, doc drop someone, that person would receive so much support.
Oh wait, that did happen. Yeah, <laughs> this is just, this is totally ridiculous. Now, um, my friend Sniper Buffalo, I just spoke with him again today, and um, just how little support he's being shown is astounding to me. Um, he had his full name, his address, and a fucking picture of his house dropped on YouTube. Twice. And no one's rallying to support him. In fact, some people that I um, previously respected are over there going, Oh no! This person didn't duck drop you. It's easy to edit that kind of stuff. It's easy to edit in Photoshop a PM. Now, um, it's easy to Photoshop PMs, and it is equally easy to fake Skype logs. I know how to do it. If you change the clock on your computer, and you have your Skype set to read the time from your computer, you can change the date that will appear on a message, you can change the um, time that will appear on a message, you can change the chat name to be whatever you want it to be. You can put whatever picture you want there, and then you can take all the little snapshots of it you want. But nobody calls that out, do they? Because it matters who it's coming from. It matters who says it. If the evidence that's been presented had come from Diana Boston, Nuke, Dolls, everyone would question it. But since it's not coming from someone that it's cool to hate, no one questions it. <sighs> it's just something to think about. Now, um, I'm pretty pissed off about what just happened to Sniper of Buffalo. Um, the only thing that he has done, apparently, to deserve to be dock dropped is he spoke against someone. And that caused a fight between him and a former friend. And now his personal information has been released. Now this is the phone, no uh, well not the phone number, the legal home address and legal first and last name. And there's no outrage because this happened after he spoke up against someone who everyone likes. It's, it's odd to me. It doesn't make sense. <sighs> now, I'm going to put Sniper's um, channels, his main channel, and his main channel, which he was recently false flagged out of, by the way. He's on a two week suspension. And guess, you know, what video was flagged. And his um, backup channel, which he's using now in the description bar. Now, um, call me crazy, but um, I think that when someone's accusing someone of doing something incorrect, the same amount of scrutiny should be applied to all sides of the story. It seems rational, logical, to me, anyway. But I guess that just doesn't make sense to everyone. Alright, YouTube. Y'all have a good day.